Coast Church family. Thank you for joining us for our brand new series, Ask Dr. Steve. We're going to start off with an easy question. Dr. Steve, what are your must-have songs on your Spotify playlist? All right, so much for the hard theological stuff. <laughs> um, I, I have my phone here, and uh, I have a worship playlist. And uh, one of the songs I really enjoy, I'm actually looking them up uh, right now, but one of them is uh, Run to the Father by Cody Carnes. It's one that I have, have on repeat quite a bit. Um, Matthew West, uh, The God Who Stays in particular, is one of those that I really like. And then I also, I actually have a playlist for uh, for working out. Uh, and one of my favorites on it is Eye of the Tiger off Rocky. I don't, if you've never heard of Rocky, that's fine. But, but uh, Eye of the Tiger is a classic, so. All right, agreed. So our next question is not that easy. The question is, who is Melchizedek and was he an early manifestation of Jesus? You said that well. Uh, <laughs> that is a really hard question. That is, uh, it's a grown up question for sure. And so let me try to be concise with it if I can. Melchizedek was, has an appearance in Genesis chapter 14 with Abram. He was a king. Uh, he came and actually served bread and wine to Abraham. Some look at it as an early Passover. The reason all that matters is because his name, I'm going to give you a short word. His name means, uh, King of Salem means peace. Uh, his name literally, Melchizedek, means righteousness. And as you move forward, there's a messianic psalm. Psalm 110 about that. And then in Hebrews, there's three chapters about this priest. If you know anything about Hebrews, there's a ton of Old Testament Judaism in it. And Jesus is the picture of the new, the better high priest uh, who also happened to be king for us. Do I think that he was in Genesis when he appeared, that he was appearing and he was a pre-incarnate image of the Son of God? The answer is yes, I do. That's debatable, but I believe that he was, so yes. Okay, great. So the next question is, uh, for Wednesday nights, why don't we have a drive-up service with catered food? A drive-in service with catered food. I think they, they mentioned this idea also of a podcast on a radio station. Man, that sounds like something that would be really fun to come to. It reminds me a little bit of the dinner theaters that we did yeah. when you know years and years ago. Um, a during COVID dinner theater though scares me to death. And so there's a lot of details from hot weather to uh, preparation of food, volunteers required. I just can't wrap my mind around doing it that way right now. Mm -hmm. Creative thought though. Mm -hmm. It's a very good idea. So our last question is a real easy one for you. What is the best part of your day? All right. Um, you know, it depends day to day, but generally I'm a super outdoorsy kind of guy. And so if I'm outside at sunrise, it's one of my favorite parts. If I'm outside at sunset, it's one of my favorite parts. Usually whatever time of day I'm outside, I really, really enjoy seeing God's creation. Mm -hmm. So and For good reason, because we live in the most beautiful city. Yeah, we do. <laughs> beautiful place. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Ask Dr. Steve and tune in next week for more questions.